Okay, now we are going over a very good blitz, and we also make it a pass coverage play with the hint of a blitz also. So watch this whole video. I'll try to keep it short. We're going over the 4-4 split cover to invert. Now, this also might already be in the ebook, but we, uh, we got different setups for different plays sometimes. Different setups for, for the same plays sometimes, so we just want to give it to you. So... What you want to do is a baseline if your linebackers are out wide, which they're not here, but baseline. Pinch your defensive line, slant them to the left, spread all linebackers, and hop with your left outside linebacker. Now this guy should be out wider. I don't know why he's moving in. Should be something like this, and this should happen. We're going up against a blocked running back. Look at that. That is a fast edge blitz sending five. Base line, pinch your D-line, slant them to the left. Spread on linebackers, and hop blitz your left outside linebacker. See, the key is making your left of screen D end. Make him, make 77 block him. So then the left outside linebacker, which in my case is Sean Lee, he could come in free off that left edge. So you could even manipulate it if you want. Pinch the D-line, slant them left, spread all linebackers, and hop with the left outside linebacker. Now you can get on the left of the screen the end. And you could kind of create that gap for the left outside linebacker, if you want. But you don't have to. I'm just saying, if you have the good users to do that, or... See, you don't really have to do that. Now... Let's just see if the running back is to the left. This might stop it because the running back is being blocked. Let's see. Pete is supposed to be out wide. Why does he keep doing that? Oh, look at that. So it still worked. So pinch your D-line, slant them to the left, spread all linebackers, and hop with the left outside linebacker. See, that's a number 90. The DN didn't engage with number 77. So, if that is the case, you can make it happen yourself. Very easy. Now, let's get into a pass coverage play. What I like to do is spread everybody. Spread your linebacker, spread your defensive line, and slant your defensive line outside and hoplets both your left and right outside linebackers. But you're going to take these two interior linemen. Now this is if you know it's like a passing situation. And put them both in purple zones. Because he could do halfback inside or halfback dive. And you know the middle of the middle of the line will be wide open. But look at the coverage if this is a passing play. You almost get somebody in and nobody is open. This is what I like about this. Spread all linebackers, spread the D-line, slant the D-line outside, hop with your left and right outside linebackers, and put your two interior linemen in purple zones. So you have a chance of a block shed, fast block shed sack. That's just a, another way of playing coverage D from this formation. Let's see if a running back 
is not being blocked here. If this comes in any better. Look at that. So it's a way to play coverage D with the maybe the threat of a blitz. Because you're only sending four people there. So, and again, this is from the 4-4 split. This is the cover to invert. This is both a blitz and pass coverage. We'll go over the blitz one more time. Baseline if your linebackers are out wide. Pinch your D-line, slant them to the left. Spread on linebackers. Hop blitz your left outside linebacker. Why is he moving inside? And if you want, you can move him out a little bit wider to the left if you want, but sometimes that's a dead giveaway of what you're doing. Look at that. So there you have it. It's another good 4 4 split play, which I do like this for uh, formation. So there you have it. Stay tuned and keep checking back at the, play at the playlist for new and added plays. Thank you.